Chomp. Hi everybody and welcome back to UR Supreme Toys. Today we got a very awesome review. Oh man, I've been waiting for these guys for so long. We finally got our first wave of Toxic Crusaders Ultimates from Super 7. And today we're going to look at Toxie first. You say to yourself, well how do you know that's Toxie? Well, Toxie is in a slimmer box. So if I bring in the other box here, you'll see it's a lot thicker. So this guy is either Radiation Ranger or Junkyard. I've been super excited to get these guys in. I was so thrilled when they announced they were actually going to do a solid wave of characters instead of just a constant Toxie repaint. Because they have already done Toxic Crusaders, but it's just been three different variations of Toxie so far. You'll notice the immediate difference is these guys do not come in a shipper box. I love that. I think these shipper boxes are overdone. They serve their purpose back in the Maddie Collector days. I don't know if this is going to continue with all the other ultimates from this point on. However, I would not mind, nor will I miss the shipper boxes. However, there is no name plate here to designate who is in the package. So unless you know by the color palette on the little warning bar right here who it is, you're going to have to look at the UPC code to tell who's in the box. So let's go ahead and remove this cellophane wrapping. So this box is very pretty. It's very radiation inspired. It's got the nice huge Toxic Crusader logo here. It has, as seen on screen up on the top corner, there's nothing on the back except this big radiation looking target. It looks nice. I don't have a black light on hand or else I'd like to see how it looks in a black light. So let's go ahead and do a slip reveal. All right. Okay. This guy looks nice. I'm digging the colors. Everything, everything is very animated inspired. It looks really good. Wow. He's got a little pink blobby here and the appropriate colors from the tune. Wow. He looks so wonderful. It's interesting that they put the nameplate here at the top. It really should have went at the bottom so you could see who was in the box. I feel like that was a little slip up from uh, package design. But you know what? As long as they got me my figures, I don't, I don't really care because I'm going to open this guy up. So he comes with a mop with the American flag, his Toxic Crusaders shield, and two alternate heads, Blobby, and some extra hands. And I don't really see anything else in the package. So let's turn him around look at the back. No bio. That's interesting. I guess it's a cost cutting measure. They didn't have to do a lot of extra package design. I would have liked to have seen a bio. However, not having one's fine too. I know who this guy is. Hopefully you do. It is this nice little hazmat sticker. If you've ever worked in the shipping industry or received a hazardous materials package through the post, you should see these little diamond hazmat stickers on the box telling you what's in the box if it's flammable or toxic or poisonous or what have you it's just pretty neat that they did that warning this package contains toxi the likable lumpy headed hero a little backstory here i'm sure there's a hundred million videos talking about this on youtube toxic crusaders started out as an R-rated film franchise from Troma Films in the 80s. Toxie was the only mutant hero in the movie, and the movies were very violent and full of sexual innuendo. I learned that the hard way growing up. You see, me and my brother's first introduction to Toxie and the Toxic Crusaders was from the toy line and the short-lived animated series that appeared on TV in the early 90s. Well, to a little kid who has grown up in the Ninja Turtle era where you love Ninja Turtles and one of your favorite movies of all time is a live action remake of the Ninja Turtles, you're like, wow, that's pretty awesome. And then one day you're walking around in Kmart in the budget movie section. Usually it was in the center aisle in a little turnstile where you had VHS tapes for like $6 or $7. And lo and behold, my little eyes find Toxic Avenger with who on the cover? But a live action 
version of Toxy in all his mop swinging glory. And to my little seven year old eyes, I was like, oh my gosh, mom and dad, they made a live action Toxic Crusaders. I didn't know about this. Buy me this movie. And you know what? My loving parents did buy me that movie. And I took it home. And me and my brother popped it in the VHS player. And my parents went to the other room. And we sat there for the first half hour. Jaw dropped. <laughs> I can't remember which film it was. It may have been the second one. Um, I have not tried to watch it since. But it traumatized me to some degree. Because I still recall every scene I saw in those 30 minutes that we watched. And I gotta say... Not a cartoon series, not for kids, but I loved the toys, and I loved the cartoon. We had everything. We even had the coloring book for this thing. Toxic Crusaders got a lot of playtime from us. We mixed and matched them with our Ninja Turtles quite easily, and we just loved them. They were just gorgeous, monstrous, mutant, neon-colored maniac toys, and they were great. Let's go ahead and pop this guy out of this box because despite the trauma, I still love this guy so much. <laughs> All right, Toxie, the Toxic Avenger is out of the box. Gotta say, not looking too shabby. The sculpt is pretty fantastic on this guy. He has this nice, wonderful animated style head. And this was him in the show, in the cartoon show. He was all smiley and happy for as hideous as he looked. He was fine with it. <laughs> he even had a girlfriend. From what I can tell, this is the same sculpt that was used for the last three Toxies that Super 7 released in their Ultimates line. The only difference I noticed being the animated style head. So if you have bought a Toxie in the past from Super 7, you know exactly what you're going to get. His paint apps are decent. I don't think they're too much. Of course, him being tailored after the animated version, his color palette is going to be a lot more muted, which it is. This nice light green color with some nice highlight and hues over the arms and the head. They didn't have to do that. Seeing how they were going for the animated look, they didn't have to put any extra color into this figure, but they did. They put these nice little dark gray green shades all over the arms and the neck and around the head and the back of their, his uh, neck and back and his back cyst. So he's pretty decent. Of course, these are pretty minimalistic. He has an occasional wart here and there painted orange which appears to be the same color orange as his shirt, which is weird. He has his little tutu. I don't know, nor have I ever understood why he has a tutu on his waist. He has his inside of his toe of his boot painted with his little toes sculpted out. And his other toe is oozing goo. His jeans are nicely textured. The shirt is painted orange with some highlights here and there, some darker highlights and washes. Looks pretty good. Both his tutu and this bandolier are removable. The tutu just clips off from the back if you don't want to have this, as I don't recall the animated version having the tutu. And this bandolier, the only way to remove it is to pop his head off, which comes off relatively easily. And then you'd have to shimmy it over his neck. Be careful with the bandolier. It is a very soft rubber, which is fine, but it is painted. So the more you move it, flex it, bend it, pull it, you will stress this paint. I had that happen on a couple of my other Toxies from Super 7 as well. I don't know why they did that. I would have preferred it if they had just molded it in that brown plastic and made it clip like the vintage turtle belts and stuff like that. But it's fine. I love this head sculpt. It looks so much like the animated counterpart. It's painted decently. His eye could have very easily been messed up, but the pupils are nice and clean, and they fill in the lines around the eye socket. 
his teeth are perfect. It's crazy how somebody who looks like this has a perfect smile. I guess that's all the ladies really care about is your personality. This is his portrait with his bandana. He did not wear the bandana in the animated series. And then he has his unbandanaed head, which is typically how he was seen in the film. And his teeth are all gritty and angry. And the pupils and the eyes are done very well on both of these guys as well. They're the same head sculpt, minus the headband. Uh, I would have preferred a different, you know, a facial expression, but Toxie in the movie was literally just a mask on a guy, and it didn't really emote or anything, and this is what he looked like the whole time. So, which head do you want to go with? I'm going with the animated, because I really like it, and it fits in great with this figure. Articulation, pretty standard. This is very standard articulation for any action figure these days. He has the hinged... Ooh, ooh, that was awful. See that? Just by hinging that shoulder up, it cut. <laughs> it cut his shoulder. It literally cut the plastic. That's bad. Ah, be careful with that. I'm glad I didn't hit that bump. But anyway, it very badly... <laughs> It's a very sharp thing. It hinges up and swivels. Watch out for that corner piece. Jeez, already damaged out of the box. It has a bicep swivel as well as the 90 degree bicep hinge. It is not a pegless hinge that we have typically been seeing, but that's because this is a reused buck. And he has the hinge and swivel hands, which are very nice. And this mirrors over to the other side. He has this ab crunch. Uh, I'm not a fan of this style ab crunch, but it looks fine on this figure. I think people vary in their preference as far as the style of the ab crunch. He does have a waist swivel. It is going to be a little stuck because this upper belt part is painted and the upper stomach is painted, so they kind of want to stick a little bit. And then he has his ball jointed hips. Of course, it hinges up, and because of the design, it does go up pretty decently. And it moves forward, not quite that far forward. And then, of course, he has these upper thigh swivels. And then the knees bend, not quite a 90. But I don't think Toxie was a very dynamic type of character anyway. And the knees are actually very nice and firm. His articulation is very firm. It's not too tight, not too loose. And he's going to be a nice sturdy figure on your shelf. His feet are hinged. And then they swivel with that rocker. There is a shin twist, which I appreciate. I don't remember if that's new or not. As far as accessories, you're going to see a lot of the same that you saw with the other Toxie figures. Blobby is a new Blobby. This is a different sculpt from the first Blobby that we saw with the other releases. So he looks pretty good. I love the colors on him. He can fit on Toxie's shoulder. If you put the bandolier on, he'll fit right up on that peg so he can ride on his shoulder. Probably won't use that. I'll probably just have him sliding around on the ground. He has his trademark mop. This thing is painted beautifully. It is an orange handle. I love this green spatter on the mop head. It looks great. This might glow in the dark. Toxic Crusader figures were known for their glow-in-the-dark features. The vintage figures had paint splashed over the figure that sort of glue in the dark. And each figure came with an accessory that glue in the dark as well. So I don't know if this is going to glow in the dark. I have no way of getting the lights dark enough in here right now to test that. And this American flag is a solid piece of plastic. It clips on. You can take it off if you want. Um, be cautious with these clips. This is a pretty sturdy piece. I don't think it's going to break, but you never know. This flag is not tampoed on. As you can see, it's very clean. That's because it is a sticker, and it is not stuck all the way properly on mine. So be wary of that. Don't get this wet. Keep it away from dusty areas. Dust will get in those little crevices and weaken the glue on the back of the sticker over time. Same with being in overly heated places. But I love this mop. I typically display it without the flag. He comes with this Toxic Crusader shield. This is modeled after the vintage action figure. It is basically just a lead pipe 
with a shield of goop on the front and this wonderfully tampo toxic crusaders logo i love this shield and then he comes with three toxic grenades they're all like a green and gunmetal color with a little star emblem sculpted on the front he doesn't really have hands that could hold these other than by the clip this comes back to the bandolier you will see these little notches in the bandolier it is intended that the clips on these grenades should slot into the bandolier however the design's not perfect and I didn't really have much luck at getting these slotted in those slots even on the other previous three figures but they will fit into the bandolier and you can have his little bandolier with his grenades on and lastly he comes with four extra hands he has two closed fists they got a nice little wash on the back of the hands and then he's got two waving hands which also have this wash on the back of the hands these are very generic hands they all do their job as far as the hands coming out a little tight not too tight so you can put in one of his fists if you want for fist pumping action <clears throat> yeah a little tight on the hands or you can have him waving like hi I'm Toxie and of course he has his two standard gripping hands attached to him in the package be careful when slotting this mop into his hand you will probably rub the paint off I'm trying to be careful So you can have him with his mop. And the same goes for the shield. This handle is painted. So be careful that you don't rub the paint off sliding it in. As I'm probably doing right now. Oh, and I noticed a terrible thing. This is two different pieces glued together apparently. And it is painted over the joint. And by slotting this in, I broke the paint around the rim of that handle and that looks terrible I would have preferred that they not have glued that together and it has just been two pieces that snapped together because that just added a little bit of damage to this figure so yeah be careful with this guy you're gonna damage the paint on him alright and there you go there's your Toxie from the Toxic Crusaders he looks fantastic I gotta say I love Blobby here Blobby was always with him in the show this is a little sidekick so we're gonna go ahead and uh bring in some comparison figures we have the first released Ultimates Toxie which as you can tell is more inspired from the vintage figure in color scheme and accessories than anything even his little blobby there is the translucent plastic of course I don't know if it glows in the dark but the original one does then we have the full-on glow-in-the-dark version that Super 7 did later which looks fantastic I love that figure um, as mentioned before with the with the belt it's painted and both the glow-in-the-dark and this color changing Toxie have a serious issue with the paint on this bandolier ripping so be cautious and mindful of that so I have a lineup of four Toxies. I've been supporting Super 7 with anything Toxic Crusaders because this is exactly what I wanted to see. I wanted them to do an Ultimate Toxic Crusaders series. And we've got it going. If you want an action figure style Toxie, try to hunt down this very first edition. Here is a vintage Toxie. Mint's own card. He has his bandana. He has this darker reddish orange shirt and accessories you can see the only thing I regret that they did not include was the paint splattering on the legs this was a great figure his eyeball glows in the dark this little radioactive pouch right here has his blobby figure which is also glow in the dark every toxic crusader figure came with this little hidden radioactive accessory pack and it was just you know grenades or blobby or what have you I love this figure and I love this series I'm glad to have one based on the animated version. 
all in all, love this guy. I did not have a Toxie growing up as a kid. Um, I, I have one now somewhere in my collection loose, but he's missing all of his accessories and his eyeball. His glow-in-the-dark eyeball, so I popped that out. Um, I could not find him, but I did have this guy mint in card. As mentioned, I'm glad that they did this first version based more on the action figure. He looks wonderful. This is this is what I want. This is what I got, and I'm happy with this. I would have been fine had they not included Toxie in this first wave of Toxic Crusaders. That being said, I love the animated version too, so I'm happy to have that. So this has been an unboxing and review of Toxie from the Toxic Crusaders Ultimates line from Super 7, and I am UR Supreme Toys. Thank you so much for watching! Yeah, thanks.